driven bumbling in the dark. Don't bumble. That's the that's the thing you need to learn from this. Just don't bumble. Oh man, I'm alive. This also would be a good um ghost house level tomorrow. Good house music. So. I wish you could do that. There, there probably is some kind of hacking tool you can use to um, make it just completely dark. In fact, you can do that generally, but I don't, I don't know about that if you're able to do that in a ghost house. I should do that as a later level. That would be badass. Oh! I didn't just get it, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, Jesus, I wasn't looking at what was going on. Oh! Whoa! Oh, bugger. In a way, it's quite unfair, because if you use your anchor and you are fucked, there is no other way of saying that you are completely fucked, and that was a completely dick move. Two more things to show. Right, that's it. Okay. Two more things to show. One is in the um, castle machinery level, and it's really easy to get to. And it's at the start of the level, so that's good. Castle machinery. There we go. And the last one is the second to last level, whatever it was called, because I wasn't paying attention. But it's green. We love this. Ta da! Level over. There you go, that was easy. Well, my original plan was to um, re-enter the level and stop when I got to 99 lives, just to show you. But apparently, they disappear, and you can never get them again. So that's not going to happen. I was going to say I've got one thing to show you, but actually I think I'll show you another thing, just because I think it will benefit you. Um, for future reference, because some of these levels um, have colour gems and I may as well point them out to you because you'll probably want to know right this doesn't jungle rollers no great gate no boulders no rocky no pepper pepper definitely not rolling stones that uh, band hog wild born to be wild uh, the forest hate that level or fortress I don't hate that level anyway up the tree <laughs> Lost City, that is a green gem. That's a hard one to get. Good luck with that. Temple Ruins, Road to Nowhere, Nowhere, Boulder Dash, that's key. Ho oh, hog, whole oh, hog. Sunset Vista, Donkey Kong. There's only one in that place, okay. Then there's a famous machinery called the Power. Generator Room, oh my god, that has a color gem in. Toxic Waste, oh my god, that's a color gem in. Thin strike, no, that definitely won't. The high road, definitely not. Slippery climb, yep, and I got that legitimately! <laughs> Lights out has a coloured gem and a key. That's just going right overboard, ain't it? Fumbling in the dark, oh snap. Jaws of darkness, oh my god, castle machinery, oh that looks deadly. Ooh, nature's very, oh, definitely not, unless there's like, some kind of gem shoved up his arse and he has to pull it out. Then there's the lab, the lab, the lab, has a yellow gem. And the great hall that's far lower, and then cortex, no, he won't. But the great hall that has nothing, that has every single gem you've collected, because, I'm not sure why, but they are now platforms. You know in Crash 2 there's the um there's the thing when you got the colour gems and that's how you get the last gem of the game. This is sort of like that. Now this is quite creepy because there's a picture of Torna and I don't know if if they thought this through or not. Or is that actually Coco Bandicoot? I'm not sure. Can't tell. But this is quite weird. I don't know if no thought this through and they were thinking that this is actually Crash's castle. This is Cortex's castle, which suggests he has something of an item or corner or fancy sir. And possibly he raped her. Oh chuddies. <laughs> I have 30 lives. <laughs> 
play this game with 30 lives, holy crap, or 25 maybe. Again, holy crap. So yeah, I, I can't tell if that's Coco because it doesn't look quite like Torna, so it might be Coco. Oh, for fuck's sake, come on. This ain't hard. Just basic, difficult platforming. I suppose it is a bit hard. The, the thing that it's hard to swallow that fucks up right at the end of the level. The coloured gems that aren't included here, I don't think. Or if they are, they aren't coloured here. So yeah, no obvious reason. Ah! And the end of the level! It's the end of the game, in fact. And it ends with you riding a bird in a sexual way. And it's happy because it's flapping its wings. And he does look like he's riding it. He's got his hand up in the air. Whoa, yeah, this is what, this is me. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. The bird is just going, ah, oh, ah, oh, oh. He flies up the screen. Papu sold the ruins of his castle cortex as a result of uh, he then used the process to open a big and tall shop on the island. This, ah, oh, I like this because that's what Crash Team Racing did, and it was basically using the idea they did from this. I quite like it. After intense therapy and eight years of higher education, Dr. Rue went on to write a well-received book through the eye of the vortex, a study of rapid evolution and consequences, which is why he's professor in the second game. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Qualcomm moved to Hollywood and landed a motion picture deal with universal proportions. Currently he is working with a speech therapist to improve diction. His diction? <laughs> nice. This ending is much better. You have to get everything to do it. Tim Stark moved to Chicago where he now owns and operates a city where sanitation is company. He is saving money for his upcoming juvenational, I don't know what that word is, juvenational campaign. After the disappearance of his mentor, Dr. Matthew Bry rediscovered his first love, tending bar. <laughs> And then he went on to destroy Cortex in the second game. If you haven't seen it, watch my first LP or there, I might give you a Caesar. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't actually remember that. The world has heard nothing more of Cortex since Crash Broder's plan, but evil geniuses are harder to squash than cockroaches. That is correct, because actually, it shows that he did, um, he, it showed one year later, and then he, um, he disappeared and stuff. He, one year, he um, crashed, and immediately, one year later, he was back, ready to get Crash to um, do his evil doing. So it actually does make sense, although it doesn't make sense that Ripperu spent eight years doing whatever he did, and though it was only one year later, because he was a professor in the second one, technically. So that makes no sense, and that's continuity, which I'm probably the only one who knows about that, because that's not actually on any band of or anything, but yeah, it's just my view of stuff. But, um, well, this has been fun, I must say. I have enjoyed this. I didn't think I'd enjoy it as much as I did, but I did enjoy it a lot, and I think it was rather good. It's good to be back into recording star. I must say that feels good to be recording again. It does feel my fine. Well, <clears throat> I guess I'll just uh, leave you with um, the credits. Bye. Scared ya! Did I? Did I scare you? <laughs> like I'm gonna end it here. <laughs> Silly people. <laughs> I want to hear though. <laughs>